news today. You'll remember this. It was back in April. Nigerian terrorists kidnapped hundreds of young girls for marriage and slavery, gaining worldwide attention. While most are still unaccounted for, some did escape. And today, they brought their inspirational stories here to Washington. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman has this story that you'll see only on 7. Scott. Leon Allison, it just so happens today is International Human Rights Day, so it is fitting that a handful of young women, 17 and 19 years old, girls who'd never even seen an escalator before, made their way to the Hill with this powerful message. If they felt a bit out of place, the smiles at least disguised those worries. This group of girls, the largest to ever escape Boko Haram and come to the United States. I uh, hear it's safer for them. Um, Nothing maybe will harm them. Certainly nothing like what they experienced back in Nigeria during that April siege. We didn't see any teacher, we didn't see anybody, we didn't see any security. We are afraid. 18 year old Debbie among the almost 300 kidnapped and taken to the terrorist camp before escaping. Today, this tiny, very tight knit group who'd never even heard of the Capitol were in its halls, telling the stories of losing all touch with loved ones. One month, she has not heard from her family. What about you? Two months. Two months. Or losing lives. Occasionally broken up by a joke. <laughs> or curiosity. In this case, a meeting with Senator Rand Paul. <laughs> supportive of the program bringing them to U.S. schools. They already have high aspirations, all want to be doctors or lawyers. Doctors and lawyers? <laughs> This is not just going to change their lives, it's going to change the generations of, of many lives for people in Nigeria, for, I mean, forever. How, how happy are they to be here? A hundred percent, yeah. And happily running off to their new home and new lives. Well, two of the girls will go to school in Grundy, Virginia. The rest were actually rushing out because they were going to catch a plane to their new home in Oregon. The Jubilee campaign, which is spearheading the effort, says it'll be difficult in some ways because the school back in Shabuk, Nigeria, was actually burned to the ground, so there are no records. But clearly, these girls know how to overcome obstacles. Allison, Leon. All right, thanks, Scott. How great is it to see their smiles here? Fantastic. Fantastic.